Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off the vehicle that's behind me, this Land Rover Defender um, 110 TDCI XS station wagon seven seater. Hope you like it. Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 60 plate. So what's that, late 2010, I think. Um, I'll have to check that on the V5. Land Rover Defender 110 TDCI XS station wagon, seven seater. Finished in black with the usual anthracite interior. Good looking car, this one. Fitted with black boost alloys with a matching set of five Continental cross contact tires on it. It's got uh, LED headlamps and it's also got um, DRLs, although in fairness, they don't come on until you put the side lights on. Don't know why that is. Um, also externally, we've got mud flaps all round. We've got rear step, checker plated rear door, adjustable tow pack, spare wheel carrier. Uh, and internally, we've got these grills for the uh, for the rear sliding window for windows for security. Obviously, it's a seven seater. Uh, standard XS interior spec, so half leather and everything. Except this one's also got a very high end Alpine sound system there with a um, Kenwood. I don't know what you call it, a base bin booster down the back here. Um, yeah, inside it's fully carpeted but matted throughout but fully carpeted underneath. Rather lovely. Anyway, let's take a walk around it. Being black, obviously, there's a few uh, stone chips and marks on it, especially around the front end. You can certainly see a good selection of stone chips up the side of the grill there and across the top of the grill. And there are one or two stone chips on the bonnet. Um, and some sort of chips and light scratches just on the top of the near side front wing here. Oh, it's also got some um, security bonnet uh, hinges on it as well. Um, looking down the near side, it all looks pretty straight down there. Let's have a little, is that just polish? A little bit of small mark just there on the base of the near side front wing. Let's look in here. post, scuttle corner, screen blocks, a bit of paint lost just there and a little bit of bubbling as always. There's the leaf stuck down there. I have to open the bonnet to get it out. Damn. <laughs> no sunroof on this one obviously. A few marks on the near side mirror. A um, couple of slight scuffs just there on the um, on the near side modesty cover at the front. Interior wise, very, very nice indeed, actually. Um, seats are all in pretty good shape. What's that sticking out there? I need to empty this cubby box as well. Um, so that's presumably some sort of tape to do with the stereo system, which has kind of come adrift. Let's see if we can put that back on a bit better. Um, couple of minor cracks in the um, grab handle as, uh, as I often get. Dash, very nice generally. Headlining, starting to bow very, very slightly in the middle, but there's no real big marks out of it. There's a small mark just there. Another couple just over the driver's seat. And carpet's all in good shape. So it's got a proper set of defender mats as well. Near side rear door. Tiny blemish just there. Obviously, say black does show every single mark. Uh, this is Santorini black, incidentally, the metallic. Um, in the back here, it's all spot on. This side rear wing has got looks like oh, someone's. I don't know what these are? Lots of tiny little white marks, which we can't seem to get off. Probably will come off with a really heavy cut, in fairness, but um, um, we haven't tried yet. But it looks like perhaps something's been sprayed near to it. It's just got a few white marks in the paint, as you can see there. Let's look under the back here. Around the tail end.
We've got where the uh, checker plate is, it's just starting to delaminate from the rear door skin just on the bottom edge there. <coughs> oh, excuse me, we'll open the door in a minute and show you a bit better. And like a lot of them now, it's starting to bubble up around the rear window, just there. Door card's in good shape. Yeah, tailgate's just starting to, say the, the checker plate started to delaminate here. But we have got a little bit of rust in the edge of the tailgate just there. Um, it's also got um, Mantec grill on the rear window as well. In the back here, what's that bit of trim from? Mm, I don't recognize that. Possibly not even from this car. Um, don't know where that's come from. It's a bit of trim here, I'm afraid. Let's have a look for that. See where that goes. Uh, but it's got, say, so it's rear seats in there. Looks like it is part of the vehicle, but I'm afraid I can't put my finger on where that comes from. Let's look at that. Um, looking down the offside, it all looks very straight down there couple of small marks just here underneath the fuel filler that's just a, a water mark there and a small mark just there let's have a look underneath Thailand no good there offside door In the interior slight parking dink in the driver's door just there hasn't broken the paint again a little bit of paint loss and bubbling around the screen block and and the side of the windscreen surround which is normal it's obviously had a snorkel on it at some point but that's now been taken off uh, offside front wing couple of marks just on the lower edge down here and on the eyebrow and we go back to inside <coughs> dirty marks there up around the dash driver's seat's all good actually it has lost a bit of its shape just there and say this one's done around 73,000 miles I think although the speedo shows 45 it seems to have had a speedo change at some point in the past um, but yeah there we have it that's a good looking defender one other thing a little bit of paint loss just there oh no it's, it's previous polish so my name's Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com Okay, quick video of the engine running on this uh, 2.4 TDCI Defender 5 miles and it's nice and warmed up.